<clears throat> Today we're going to talk about conflict. Uh, conflict is something that you uh, will run into in most stories. Um, if a story doesn't have conflict, really there's not a whole lot going on. So we'll talk about that today. That will help you fill out your um, assignment at the end of the DLD. So what is conflict? Uh, conflict uh, refers, uh, literary conflict refers to the different motivations or obstacles characters have to deal with in stories. Conflict can be internal or external. So uh, conflict is oftentimes what a character will deal with in a story, whether it be another character they are battling against or an idea that they have in their head that they're struggling with. Um, those would be the things that we're referring to when we talk about conflict. And as it says at the bottom, uh, they can be internal, as in there's something they're dealing with the, on their, themselves in their own head, or it can be external, as in another character, or it can be something in nature, or, or anything, really. All right, here are the types of conflict. There is man versus man. That would be a character versus another character. Man versus nature, a character versus something out in nature. Man versus himself, a lot of times this would be internal conflict. Uh, man versus the supernatural, so anything like that's out of the ordinary, ghosts, aliens, stuff like that. Man versus society, so oftentimes this is people that battle against things that society thinks are okay or right, and the character believes they are not. And then finally, man versus technology. The first one we have is man versus man. Now this is your typical type of conflict. This is where one character battles against another character. In the picture we have, uh, this is from a movie called uh, Sp Scott Pilgrim versus the World. Um, Scott Pilgrim here on the right has to battle the ex-boyfriends of a girl that he is interested in dating. Uh, he has to battle through all of her ex-boyfriends to finally win her heart. Um, <clears throat> Now, obviously, it doesn't have to be physical battles. It can just be two characters that are against each other. But man versus man is when two characters are against one another. The next one is man versus nature. Uh, in the picture here, we have Pecos Bill uh, riding a tornado. Now, man versus nature typically uh, is not necessarily people riding tornadoes, but it might be um, something like Castaway where Tom Hanks is stranded on an island and he has to survive. A lot of times man versus nature just requires somebody to survive because it's very difficult to beat nature. The next one we have is man versus himself. Uh, now this one, obviously, this guy's looking into a mirror. Um, this is where you have internal struggles that a character goes through. Like maybe they have a really difficult decision. They're not really sure what they should do. Maybe they have ideas about the world that they are struggling with. Maybe they you know, think this group of people is weird and they don't like them and but they don't understand why they feel that way. Um, that oftentimes uh, is, is man versus himself. Uh, anytime the character struggles with their own thoughts. Uh, the next one is man versus supernatural. Uh, I don't know this cartoon, but this is a guy punching a ghost. So uh, man versus supernatural is, is basically whenever somebody's battling against something that seems out of the ordinary. Um, Maybe there are some magical things going on. Maybe there are um, beings from another planet that are trying to battle uh, the main character. But, uh, or it can be you know, struggles with, uh, with religion, things like that. Oftentimes that would be himself. But um, anything that's, not, that's outside of the natural realm. Uh, we have man versus society. Um, in this picture, this is uh, from the movie v, v for Vendetta. Um, this guy tries to um, basically go against a corrupt government system and tries to bring it down. And a lot of times this is where you have a character that hates the way things are in society and tries to change them. Um, another great example would be The Matrix, where uh, the main character Neo tries to you know, beat the computer system he's living in. So um, anytime you have a character that's battling for uh, a better society or going against what the norms are, that would be man versus society. And then finally, we have man versus technology. Now, obviously, this is a picture of the Terminator um, where we're battling machines, but this can be where people are struggling against different types of technology that are coming out. Uh, maybe they don't like surveillance equipment. Uh, maybe they have a problem with 
um, just the way technology works in general, or adjusting to new technology and the way things work. Um, so obviously this one would be more based on people, you know, going against new changes in technology for the most part. Uh, so those are the types of technology. Uh, hopefully those explanations have helped you. Uh, I will put this PowerPoint in the module next as well so you can go back through it and review it. Uh, but this should help you move on and finish the assignment for today's DLD. Um, and if you have any questions, please email me and I will help you out. Otherwise, I will see you on Monday.